So today I'm at Yeonnamdong and I will be going cafe hopping. Yeonnamdong gets a lot of traffic because there are two college campuses nearby. One being Yonsei University, which you may have seen come out in a lot of K-dramas. And then the other being Hongi University. And of course, you have just a lot of other people visiting because there's so many cafes and places to eat at. So today I will be cafe hopping in Yeonnamdong. So let's go! This cafe was definitely the catalyst for French toast becoming a dessert trend in Korea. I've been wanting to come here for such a long time, but I just never made it. I think there's already a wait. There's already a wait, even though I did a open run. I can only give you love that lasts forever. I just made it out of Joe and Dawson and oh my god, that french toast was so good. I was a little worried that this place would be overrated just because like Instagram cafes cannot be that good sometimes. But this was worth everything. Their french toast was really good and the vibes were immaculate. They were playing jazz music and Christmas music and I just felt so nice. They also give you flaky salt with your french toast and they recommend that you dip your french toast in it and I could not get enough of it. I thought it paired really nicely with the french toast. I loved everything thing about the cafe. I'm going to head over to the next cafe now. The next cafe that I'm going to is Antique Coffee. I'm a little worried about this cafe because they just seem like an Instagram cafe. They have lots of desserts but I'm going to try their Einspaner which they're most known for. <laughs> Let's go, let's look at the show. We are here. 
저 더티 앤 크림 한 잔만 주세요. 네. So I just got my Einspanner from Antique Coffee. It's really loud in here, which is why I'm talking to my phone. So hopefully you guys can hear me. I was lucky enough to get a seat next to the Christmas tree, so it's really pretty right now. Also, as you guys saw, there's so many desserts here, but I opted out because I'm actually still really full from my French toast from Joe and Dawson. So I'm just gonna try their Dirty and Cream, which is their signature Einspanner. I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm not a fan of their Einspaners. This tastes just like whipped cream on top of coffee rather than the cream that goes on top of actual Einspaners. It's super super light but I prefer like a thicker cream when it comes to Einspaners. I would say when it comes to Einspaners in Seoul, oats is definitely my favorite. It's like thick enough but not too thick. I passed by the stationery store on the way to Antique Coffee and I really want to go in. Puma Bang cards. This place is massive. There's a whole second room here. How cute is this mini tote bag? I really wanted posters for my new room and they have so much here. <gasps> oh my god. You can look at all the posters like this and it has a number here so you can take it out of the cubby. I'm feeling conflicted. I don't know which ones I want. I used the cash that I had, so according to Girl Math, this was free. I came to the Lotte department store today. It's a little bit early, so they're not open yet. But I came here because there's a Pungapang pop-up happening from a really popular Pungapang place. If you don't know, Pungapang is basically fish-shaped bread with red bean inside. I'm at the Lotte department store and I ordered some lunch. There's like a massive food court here, so you just order anything that you want to eat. This is the food court area and there's a bunch of places that you can eat from. I got guabaro and dosangmyeon because I've been really craving guabaro lately. Also, once you order and you place your jindong bell here, the employees actually deliver your food to you. This is what I got and it looks so good. I'm going to the Pungapang pop up now. Look how massive these shine muskets are. Oh my god, it's so heavy. One is like the size of a plum. Oh my god. I, I, I couldn't answer it. But he... I just warmed up my pungapang in the air fryer. I got shukurim and then pizza flavored. I didn't get red bean because I am not a fan of red bean. When you get the pungapang, they give it to you like this. They don't cut out the outer parts. So I just like tried to cut it out, but it looks so ugly. This is the shukurim and I'm gonna try this first. This place is actually famous for their chaltok pungapang. They don't use regular flour like most pungapangs. So it's really chewy like tok. It's like crispy on the outside, but it's super chewy on the inside. It tastes like a combination pizza, but in a pungapang form. I got ready, but to be honest, I don't know what I'm doing today. Today's kind of the day where I don't have solid plans, but I just know that I want to go out. 
If you were ever curious about what tints I use, it's the Wake Make Dewy Gel Glow Tint and I use it in the color Lazy Mauve and then Coolish Cherry. This is my favorite tint for the past couple months. It's the only thing I've been using recently. the new apartment and the lighting here is so good it's so bright compared to my old apartment which i love So today I'm at the mall to watch a movie, but we have a bit of time, so I'm at a cafe currently. The movie we're watching is a popular movie right now. It's a true story, and it's based on the assassination of a Korean president. So we're going to watch that later. Having punchik for dinner. Christmas all around and I try to play cool but it's hard to focus when I see him walking across